Yes, good evening, good morning, good afternoon, whatever part of the day this is. It's your boy, Rap Rhetoric Anonymous Records, and we're supporting uh, Mad Mothers Against Drunk Drivers and all these alcohol preventative uh, programs. AAA in your local community, go get with the Alcoholic Anonymous. Get with the Alcoholic Anonymous if you need some help, or just get some mental help, mental help so that you could have some ideas of what you need to do okay in america many people drink they drink alcohol wine champagne liquor hard liquor some people start drinking and get all shit faced and they drink excessively this is called binge drinking a lot of americans binge drink you know what i'm saying they 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 utilize and it's not a case of utilization they drink a lot of alcohol they binge drink, they indulge in compulsive drinking, they line drink exp- excessively. College and university students, they have keg parties, they gamble a lot, and they do ping pong shots. So most of the time they go to school five days out of the week, and when the weekend come, they tend to binge drink, and they get all twisted and shit faced it, <laughs> if you, you know what I mean. They got alcohol use disorder. 16 million, 18 and older have alcoholic related disorders. Adults have related disorders also. Sometimes they die from drinking. Sometimes they have real bad health. Sometimes they real distorted thoughts in their mind. Um, Teenagers are underage drinkers. uh, Because in New York State, you gotta be 21 to drink. So if you're 18 and you're still drinking alcohol, you're uh, underage and you're illegally drinking women are having children unwantedly uh, they're having unwanted pregnancy some of them are having unwanted sex um, they don't know they're drunk they don't know what's going on they all fucked up and men are taking advantage of them um, some women they have children as a result of the alcohol um, the children might grow up and be an alcoholic too uh, the child might grow up and resent the parent for what's in their DNA. Um, uncontrolled drinking. It's the, they they too preoccupied with the alcohol. This is a condition that cannot be cured. It's not like you could go to your doctor or your local hospital and say, "Hey, I'm an alcoholic. Just give me a pill. Let me pop it, and I'm I'm not. I'm gonna be cured from my my disease. You know, it just doesn't happen that way." Furthermore, you're an alcoholic if you drink three drinks a day, seven in a week statistically. I would say two in a hundred have an alcoholic use disorder. They drink hard liquor and they have hard related alcoholic deaths. This alcohol is the third preventable cause of death in America. Second is poor diet and first is tobacco usage. So a lot of people drink alcohol, they they don't eat well, and they smoke a lot of cigarettes. And as a result of these three, they wind up dying or having a bad health, or they just can't come back to reality. Um, I would say people spend a lot of money to get drunk. This is related to binge drinking. 249 billion Americans spend money on alcohol. This is a worldly burden. There's a lot of deaths by alcohol. There's related to health conditions, liver cirrhosis, cancer, injuries, alcoholic attributables. There's so much things that can happen to you when you're drinking alcohol. A lot of broken families. Parents who drink, uh, some of them might be in jail as a result of drinking and driving. So that splits the family. A lot of them can't have normal relationships without having to drink alcohol. So that'll help break their family up, you know. Alcohol health-related problems, you know. If you was pregnant and you was an alcoholic and you're still drinking while you're pregnant, you could have fetus disorder, uh, disorder development. You could be suffering from dehydration. You could be intoxicated and you could not have this plan that you know this is what makes y'all be a together you know (laughs) y'all gotta drink in order to have a relationship 
and all this excessive drinking could result to a liver disease you know you could be pregnant and you could be urinating a lot vomiting you can't be able to hold anything down it's really acidic you know after a while you might need a liver transplant or cancer of the mouth esophagus yeah your, your pharynx and larynx you know a lot of women have breast cancer because they've been drinking a lot alcohol they never thought about alcohol being so detrimental because when they're young you know when they turn 21 they've been drinking from 21 all the way till something critical happened a lot of people drink and drive and they impaired while they driving they can't result in good judgments you know a lot of people are dis disabled because of alcoholic related crashes or accidents you could go you could go to jail forever for life you could do years in jail prison or the penitentiary you know there's new laws that arise new york state law association new york state liquor authority uh, B A B C Division of the Alcoholic Beverage Control. There's blue law, so there's no sale of alcohol from 4 a.m. to noon on Sundays. So consumption on the premises closing time or consumption off presence premises, sell stores, sales stores can sell beers, wine, coolers, but no wine. And minors visiting the store must be accomp accompanied by an adult. Selling alcohol to a minor is a Class B misdemeanor. Drinking the drinking age is really 21, but some get away with 18. Um, there's laws on public intoxication, there's laws on underage intoxication, and there's definitely laws on drinking and driving. So, you don't want to do these things because it's not good for you, you know, you could wind up having a, a bad record. You could lose your kids, you could lose your family, you could lose your own mind, your own sense of judgment. So you really don't wanna do these things. Um, I can tell you from experience, I myself had a drinking and driving problem and I was pulled over by the police. I was given a sobriety test. I failed, they took me to jail and that was hell from there. There was um, hard benches in the cell, cold nights, no food to eat, uh, no one to call, no money in my commissary, nobody would come visit me. It was so far from reality. I only got one collect call a week and no one has a regular landline. So it's hard to call a cell phone when you're in jail plus your whole time being in jail is just going towards sobering up so you really can't focus on what your next move is because you just gotta wait till your next court date or wait till you get in, uh, uh, bailed out and then you look embarrassed in front of everybody because you know that you was intoxicated so just to stay away from these things you know just use preventative calls just don't drink and drive call a Uber, call a Lyft, call a family member Give somebody your keys, let them drive you home, pay for them a cab to go back, or pay yourself a cab, come back home, come back and get your vehicle tomorrow. You might have a ticket on there. You know, definitely don't drink and text at the same time. You'll have mad, mad, mad records on your name. You don't want to do that. You know, so just, just, you know, just prevent it. Preventative is a, is a pound of cure, you know. Prevention is a pound of cure. That's what we want. We want to prevent things like this from happening to us, you know. It's all about being mature and, you know, not getting consumed by the alcohol consumption, you know. It's okay to drink, but just take control of it. Know your BAC level. Know how much drinks is going to take you over and just don't go over that limit, you know and stay protected have good friends around you don't have violent friends around you when you're drinking because they'll take advantage of you when you're drunk they might hurt you or something of that nature so be alert so sometimes it's best not to have a drink because you could be as alert as you can and you might have control of your your members but if you're alcoholic you can't 